These four books totally changed my life and business, and I wanna share them with you today in this video. Hi guys, my name is Keaton Walker, and I made almost $2 million with my social media marketing agency before I sold it earlier this year. And in this quick, fun video, I just wanted to share some of the best books that have helped me out. The first one is called Essentialism by Greg McEwen, and this one is just so, so amazing because as the title promises, the disciplined pursuit of less is such a game changer. Greg McEwen is like a Silicon Valley consultant guy and he just talks about all these people he's worked with that have tried way too hard at so many different things instead of focusing on the few important things that will actually make a difference and getting those done every day to create a life that they love not only is this one amazing for business but it's amazing for like life philosophy in general i highly recommend it to anybody who ever asked me for book recommendations and i've probably read it like 10 times myself sweet next up we have good to great by jim collins and this guy is not just an author he's a researcher at heart so what's really cool about this is they took a group of companies that were publicly traded so they had access to every single piece of their financials over i think it's like a 50 or 60 year period and they studied these companies that started out under a certain threshold and then catapulted themselves into an amazing position and then they compare them against these companies that had similar circumstances similar industries but weren't able to make the same jump and he literally then wrote the playbook on what was different about the great companies versus the only good companies and I think the coolest thing about this book is that it's all based on data. It's not just like, oh, this company was good or it used to be good for a little bit. It was like, no, this is a real struggling company that ended up making amazing leaps and bounds. And then they go and dive in and see what the root cause of that was and share that. And some of the companies that they cover in here are surprising ones that you wouldn't have thought about. Companies like Wells Fargo, Kroger, Nucor, Fannie Mae that handles mortgages in the US. Essentially like boring businesses that just ended up doing amazing. And one of my favorite concepts from Good to Great is called the flywheel effect. And this is where he compares it to like a merry-go-round on a kid's playground. When you start pushing it and then it goes slow and it's just going really slow. And then you keep pushing, you keep pushing, you keep pushing, it goes faster and faster and faster and faster until there's so much force there that all you have to do is jump on and it carries you. And then just add a little bit of gas, so to speak, every once in a while. That's what it's like building a business. And the reason a lot of people fail is because they're going one direction and then they're like, oh no, we have to go the other direction. They get scared when things don't go exactly according to plan right away. And so that's why the flywheel effect is so powerful. And that's one of the, I think, five things he talks about in the book that all of these companies had in common. Awesome. Next up is a classic, The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. I know you've probably heard of this one, but maybe you've put off reading it. This thing is like the Bible of online entrepreneurship. The stories Tim Ferriss tells in here and the framework he shares for creating what he calls a muse instead of a business is so, so helpful. So for context, a muse is something that just funds your ideal life lifestyle. It's not a business. I think the quote he uses in the book is because a business can mean anything from a lemonade stand to a multinational large corporation, we're going to use a different word, which is muse. And then he goes on to share tons of stories of people, both who start businesses or scale back their hours and start working remotely for their current companies, but getting more output and create these really awesome lives for themselves where they're not just slaves to their jobs or their businesses. And I would say that's my favorite part at the very end of the expanded and updated edition. There's a bunch of stories of really people who have actually done this and uh, they submitted them to Tim and he put them in the next edition. So highly recommend this one. Awesome. The next one coming up is Atomic Habits. A friend of mine recommended this to me and I thought I had to read uh, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg first. Not the case at all. Atomic Habits is probably one of my favorite books of all time. Like it's just underneath essentialism. And James Clear does such a good job of just breaking down what progress actually looks like. And I think it's super crucial for entrepreneurs, especially young entrepreneurs, to understand that not everything comes overnight. And then improving by 1% each day is better than trying to do this crazy effort all at once and then burning out or feeling like you don't have the skills to actually move forward. And this book is super inspiring because the forward is actually about James Clear's life himself. And he was almost like killed by a baseball accident when he was really young. He was told he would never excel in sports or anything like that. And through the principles that he implied in this book, he actually became an All-American, played baseball in college, and really showed the power of these principles through his own life, which is super cool. And he also does it in business. So being able to know his backstory and see him apply the same principles that got him back into physical shape and achieving a high level in sports also do the same thing in business is very helpful and inspiring. All right, I've actually got three more bonus books for you that I don't have physical copies of, but I think are essential for every agency owner. The first one is going to be Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson. This one is like the playbook on how to get eyeballs on your marketing. It's actually part of a trilogy, but if you just read one of these, I would read the Traffic Secrets one. Uh, Russell is an 
absolute genius. I don't love click funnels, but he himself is a marketing genius and you can apply everything that he teaches with other softwares like high level, which I like and use the most link below in the description. The next book is the E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. Now this one is about creating systems and operations manuals inside of your business. It's an absolute must read for any entrepreneur because it will help you understand what the first and next hire should be in your business, but also how to make those hires successful from the get go. It's stuff that nobody wants to think about. Nobody wants to talk about, but it's the reason that most small businesses fail. And Michael Gerber is an absolute savage when it comes to creating systems, operations manuals, and getting you to see the importance of it through some really nice stories that he tells, which I like. And then the last book is Influenced by Robert Caldini, which is like the playbook on human psychology, essentially. He goes through multiple studies that were done and comes up with the top principles that influence humans to do things a certain ways. So like social proof, reciprocity, these core foundational principles that everybody needs to understand if they're going to go into marketing are explained in a super helpful way in this book. And they can help you not only in business and explaining marketing to your clients, but also in life and just you know getting what you want in sales or in other aspects of life. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like a free one hour training on how I grew my social media marketing agency from zero to almost $2 million in sales before I sold it, click below and sign up for that free training. It's less than an hour. I'd love to see you in there. Take care.